in all seriousness, I got one question for all you beautiful people. One question. Who in 2024 still watches The View? <laughs> Don't laugh. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing funny. I'm, this is a serious question. Who still watches The View in 2024? Who wakes up and says, Woo, I can't wait to turn on The View today. Where is my remote control? <laughs> Who wakes up and goes through that process? Man, I kind of feel bad for you. Like, you just can't wait to grab your remote control and turn on the view. Ah. <sighs> but hey, I'm wishing the best in everybody's life. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. It's your main man, Rick, man. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life, man. Yes, indeed, man. Y'all let me know if y'all need one. Pretty soon, we're going to have thousands on order. Buy one, get three free. Or hell, I just might just start passing them out for free. You know what I'm saying? Got to make sure I wear it not loud and proudly. Because this November, something special is going to happen. I can feel it in my blood. I can feel it in my bloodstream. Something special is going to happen. Because we are tired, man. And oh, they got Chuck. On. Oh, they got Chuck. Let me read some of these comments, man. But hey, it feels good that our brother Doug is keeping us informed. The original link to the video will be in the description box down below, man. Y'all know we love Doug. We love his content. We love reacting to it. And uh, thank y'all for all the love and support lately on the channel that has been hitting that subscribe button, that have been dropping likes, that have been sending in kind donations, amazing emails, and even hate emails. I love all you, man. I'm wishing the best on all you guys' life, man. Pay raises, salary increases, bonuses, upgrades, more success, more growth. More opportunities, more time to spend with your loved ones, more time to spend with your kids, you know. And again, more and more health, man. I want you guys to be healthy in 2024. And uh, don't let, because with all this going on, it can, it's very, very uh, stressful on the, on the, on the, on the mind, the brain, the body. You know, people are struggling at an all-time high, man, for real. This country is going downhill at a very fast rate. The world is going downhill at a very fast rate, man. But let's see some of these comments. Mr. President, 2024, mega. <laughs> oh, man. It's so sad to see the black pastors protecting Fannie Willis. Oh, big Fanny. It's the poor blacks that are being punished by this behavior. That speech was one of the most hated and defensive speeches I've ever heard from a president. Why do people still listen to these people? Who still watches The View in 2024? <laughs> Chuck can, you can tell Chuck is lying. His lips keep moving. Joy, Joey spent a lot of time bashing Trump, then started a campaign speech, then avoided talking about real problems going on and the problems we have didn't even exist under Trump. Hmm. Huh. Oh, man. One truth from Chuck. Joe Biden showed who he is. I saw and heard and and so did the world. America, America. All right. Thanks for covering this so we didn't have to need to watch. <laughs> Chuck talks to empty chairs, literally. <laughs> Let's go get into this, you guys. And again. Shout out to Doug, man, in exile. Salute to all the amazing family members that's a part of his channel, his channel and a dog. And y'all been showing me so much love. I love you guys, man. And we're here to keep it real. Spread the truth. Spread the love. And wish the best in everybody's life, man. Join the OK Life family. We're almost at 40,000 beautiful family members around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like for me. And let's get right into it, man. Let's crank it. This is about the view gaslighting this is 100 gaslighting gaslighting percent gaslighting video since we're on a good mood today i noticed that since the future of our country is at stake in this presidential election there was a lot of pressure for president biden to deliver on his state of the union last night some of you go like ah i hate the view why do you show it, it is important to show gaslighting to you so you can see what media is doing there's a simple truth you can't love your country only when you win. 
I thought he was fabulous. It's being done at your public schools to your children. It's done by Hollywood softly through culture and entertainment. <laughs> Objectively good night for Joe Biden. What that man said, we're going to get $400 a month. <laughs> For the next two years, we're going to get $400 a month. He knows how much housing means to us. Is that right, Joe? Is that right, my good fellow man? Is that right? Is that right, Joe? Schools to your children. It's done by Hollywood softly through culture and entertainment. <laughs> Objectively good night for Joe Biden. It's done online by big media, and it's even done by your friends who pressure, pressure you using little words about things that attack your values. I mean, I felt like I was at my black church. If it had not been for the Lord, George's Fulton County District Attorney, Fannie Willis. I saw a group of white attorneys trying to publicly lynch District Attorney Fannie Willis. The history books, her name happens to be Fannie Willis. I felt like I was at my black church. Here Fannie comes in. Isn't that what they're trying to do to Fannie Willis? Like Fannie Willis is about Fannie Willis. An attack Fannie. Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis. Sister Fannie Willis. District Attorney Miss Fannie Willis <laughs> and Miss Letitia James. There was call and response, and yeah. we love that. I mean, he had audience participation oh, when he stayed God. in the union. <laughs> Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are, and this- The happy patriots, baby. Salute to all the happy patriots, man. All the, all the real ones out there, man. God bless all you beautiful people around the world, baby. We love y'all, man. This is an education in gaslighting, uh, which is a fancy way of saying brainwashing. This is a Democrat introducing a Democrat on a Democrat show for a Democrat audience. Now you said that you and other fellow Democrats walked out of the room last night exhilarated and the Republicans yes. were sad and sullen and upset. Tell us about that. <laughs> Her smile is part of the brainwashing is it's a pretend happiness, but really she's covering, covering for an absolute terror that Trump is going to win. She has to pro project a false confidence that Biden did great at the State of the Union address, which he didn't. He was embarrassing and terrifying. Now, here comes the spin of Chuck Schumer. Yes, well, look, anyone who watched that speech saw that America is strong and Biden is strong. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that? Anyone who watched that speech, he's talking to all of you. Don't you understand? Anyone who watched that speech knows that it, America's strong and Biden is strong. They're actually telling you exactly what they fear. They, they, the real truth is they know America is weak and America perceives Biden is weak. Mm -hmm. And no, if you watch that speech, you'd have no doubts, Joy, no doubts that Biden is going to win this election and then have a great second term right. where he helps the middle class. This should make all of us clap. Helps the middle class, huh, Joe? Hmm. Uh, just by them saying this. Remember, if Biden really was going to win, he wouldn't even need to say this. They're saying it as part of the propaganda to push, hope, pray. And the audience, by the way, is cued to clap on all these TV shows. They have a giant applause sign. And he, can, he talked. I'm so glad Doug mentioned that. Like, yeah, they have a giant applause sign. Y'all, please clap. Now, after he get done saying this, y'all gonna clap it up. Even if you don't you disagree or agree. <laughs> About everything the middle class needed, whether it's education or housing or lower prices. Why didn't Chuck Schumer say what the middle class need is the ability for a girl to jog in Georgia without being murdered by an illegal? What? What? He does not mention the open borders, which is the number one issue in America right now, even polling well among Democrats. He also talked about how bad uh, the former president, as he called him, was. Yeah. The former president, he called him. Chuck Schumer is now becoming an election denier. I mean, as if Trump wasn't the former president, but the Biden just merely called him that. Biden also called that murderer an illegal. And showed how this guy would let Putin roll over him, et cetera. Chuck Schumer is going back to the whole Russia, Russia, Russia lie, the idea that Trump is somehow in bed with Putin, even though it was Biden's weakness that invited Putin's massive invasion of Ukraine 
And really, Putin's overwhelming victories in Ukraine now is because of Biden. It was also Obama on a hot mic who talked to that one Russian guy going like, hey, if you'll go easy on us. My last election, basically. Yeah. After my election, I have more flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. I transmit this information to Vladimir and understand what it's the Democrats who have colluded with Russia and shown weakness to Russia, not Trump. But my favorite moment, and this is about the Republicans, he said this, the former president has created the lie that um, uh, uh, January 6th was not an insurrection. You know it was an insurrection. And he said, and he pointed to the Republican senators sitting there and the Republican House members and said, and you know it's a lie, even though a lot of you follow it. Prove to you that it's Chuck Schumer who's lying, not the Republicans on Trump, uh, whether he's a, a, a insurrectionist or not. In the Republican House. Chuck, Chuck, uh, he got a, Chuck, you got a burr on your nose right here, fool. Chuck. Chuck, you got a booger right here. Y'all don't see that 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 you need the next time, Chuck, you need to come on. They need the, the makeup team need to do a better job than that, Chuck. Yeah, you <laughs> Chuck Schumer who's lying, not the Republicans on <clears throat> Trump, uh, whether he's a, a, a insurrectionist or not. It's pretty simple. It's illegal to be an insurrectionist. They could have charged him in court with insurrection. They did not because they knew they'd lose. I love that he brought up January 6th because they were at the Capitol, they were at the scene of the crime. And mm. if I were running for president, I would be mentioning that scene of the crime every single day. They haven't brought it up to the Supreme Court. They've tried, they keep trying. They're doing everything but charge him. And that's why Trump is able to run, by the way, is because none of these people actually believe he's an insurrectionist. And, and look at all the fake lawsuits against Trump. You don't think they could find a corrupt judge that would declare him an insurrectionist? They're still, they have not done that. Remember, they impeached him. They could not remove him. They could never charge him with insurrection. And the reason why they won't is because they know they'll lose. And they were like children being chastised by the teacher <laughs> in their classroom. Yeah. They looked down. They didn't say anything. They couldn't look. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. Y'all go come in the kitchen and bake me some cookies. And I want them chocolate chip. What, what y'all like? What y'all want? Y'all want, want oatmeal raisin? Sugar? You, you said you don't like cookies? You said they got too much. It's too much. You, 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 uh, 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 you said, what'd you say? Oh, you said you want a cake? You want a cake? Yeah, yeah. Y'all laugh and bake us a cake too. You know? We, I can't wait to, to to wake up tomorrow and watch the view. <laughs> so I can laugh with Sonny and join. Look up. Yeah. It was a great moment. Look at look at these fake smiles and fake. <laughs> I mean, we. Like who gets up and, and thinks that, you know? I know it's all right. It's all right, Dems. We know. We know Dems. We know. We know. We already know. We know who watches the show. I know. You know. But again, I just don't. I wouldn't waste my time watching it. Laughter. This is all brainwashing. There's one person, one sourpuss on here is not smiling. She does not think it's funny. She's very serious, and that is Sunny Hostin. She's worried and she's not playing this brainwashing. <laughs> Biden's so strong. She knows what's coming. Yeah. So yeah. Joe Biden showed who he is. Right. You know, I've known him for a long time. Obviously, I've been in the Senate and the House. And oh, oh, we know. Oh, we, we know, Chuck. 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 Chuck, daddy. Chuck, my good, my good fellow and kind, sir. We know, brother. We know. And this is the Joe Biden. And his passion was real. He's yeah. from the middle class. He cares about the middle class. His family struggled in the middle class. This is his BS biography. All of it invented, none of it true. Joe Biden is not of the middle class. He is a privileged, blowhard, um, known for being mean, big mouth, particularly dumb, even by Democrats. So he really, this is the real deal and people saw it. 
if it was real, you don't have to tell people what's real. You know what I mean? And if they saw it, you don't have to tell them. Yeah, I never have to tell them, this is the real deal and the people saw it. Uh, the truth can go unspoken and it's still true. You actually have to articulate lies of this kind to brainwash the people. And I'm here to set you guys free. Joy Behar is just done. This is, she's completely washed up and part of the lie machine. She's part of the lie in this one party collusion with ABC, big tech, only one narrative allowed. I'm Doug in, in exile. exile. Yes, sir, man. Salute the Doug for keeping us informed. A lot of y'all don't even... You know, a lot of y'all thank Doug and, you know, thank con thank thankful for content like this because guess what? Y'all don't got to go out and waste time and watch The View. Yeah. Like, like look at the comments. I wouldn't have even known about this if it wasn't for, for channels like this and helping me, doing me a favor so I don't, you know, have to watch The View. <laughs> y'all are too funny, man. I'm saying, unbelievable. Lies, 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 and more lies. That's all it is, man. Chuck sent up their line. Chuck just up their line. Chuck. Clap it up. Everybody clap it up for Chuck line. Clap it up. <laughs> clap it up. Clap it up for Chuck, y'all. Unbelievable, man. But hey, we're wishing the best in everybody's life. I love you guys, man. Wishing. I hope everybody has an amazing 2024 this November. We will stand tall and strong, and we will smile. I love y'all, man. God bless all you beautiful people around the world. And again, before we get out of here, I'm wishing you all an amazing weekend, an amazing uh, week, an amazing March that is filled with more health, more blessings, more success, more growth, more opportunities, pay raises, upgrades, salary increases, bonuses, more time to spend with your loved ones, your kids, You know, more time to make memories, laugh, smiles. I love you guys, man. Join the OK Life family if you are new. If you didn't hit that subscribe button, it's OK. I hope you hit it. Drop a like. And hey, I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love, family.